So can you tell me a little bit about some of your uh, CNC fabric technology? Sure. Can you start with some chair? It's very interesting. There's four uh, electrodes, fabric electrode, uh, which means the uh, electrical compounds to uh, be attached to the, uh, those uh, fabric. And then that sense the uh, weight and movements of your body. Because of the uh, inserted into four different places of those Electrodes that reflects of your uh, weight balance. It shows you how your body balance is this good or not. The fabric is the electrode. Yeah, that's right. Fabric itself is electrode, and because of the fabric, it, usually fabric does not respond to electrical uh, things, but uh, because of the electric compounds that be inserted into the, the fabric, that comes with the uh, electrical. Activities. Can we try it out? Sure, you can just sit and then. This bar graph in, in indicates about the weight of your balance. Most of them indicates about the maximum value. That means the weight balance is very good. So, a little bit unbalanced. Okay, okay, so, so basically. I was pretending to have a good balance. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. So when you look at the, uh, those kind of screens and to try to adjust the, uh, those postures, so that's a program. You can really control each uh, electrode, essentially, uh, yeah, just by right. leaning to one side. Yeah, that measure the, uh, every 0.1 seconds. At the moment, we think that this is going to be important for just uh, showing you how you are and the body balance is good or not. But of course, that in the future, the, uh, you can use this kind of data to like a game or either some kind of a, a so-called e-sports or mm -hmm. something to uh, reflect your body response to those kind of game characters or something like that. Right. But in this case, the healthcare uh, applications we are thinking right now. So this this version here is a real time graph that changes every millisecond, sure, every hundred sure. milliseconds. How many seconds? You also have another system which is sent all the way over to America. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that system too? Yeah, because uh, this indicates that the, only the real time uh, indications. But of course, you want to know how your body uh, conditions. So we calculate those kind of data to analyze of your body situation to. Those, each of the, those kind of data was transferred to uh, Silicon Valley servers and then they uh, calculate of your uh, weight balances to show the, how the posture conditions of your bones. So now we can show you. So from now, I have to sit like this for one minute. The reason it takes this long is it's gathering the data um, and then it'll make uh, calculations over in Silicon Valley as Torimitsu-san explained, and then it will give me my final reading. Okay, Torimitsu-san, so I have my data here, yeah. and to me, I look like I'm doing okay. Sure, Is sure, that true? Sure. Yeah, that's true. And also, it shows up really well, uh, posture conditions. So, but, but the front view, I lean. Yeah, a little bit. Probably in, in your, your upper uh, area, a little bit tilting. You know, this is a kind of a real-time measurement data. So, so what does the 0 to 100 signify? Uh, it's a kind of a percentage of the uh, weight changes. But in case of the left front, you have a little bit moving. Uh, to adjust your conditions by using your left front. Uh, we install the same kind of system into the, the bed to indicate about uh, sleeping positions. Uh, sleep in the uh, left side down or either the right side down or while you're sleeping you're moving or not. That kind of stuff if you want to try. Yeah, absolutely, of course. Okay, so time for me to get the things. Ah. That's right, yeah, it's, it's starting. So now you lie on the bed and then sitting in a uh, sort of so-called normal positions that uh, it, it shows your presence in that 
in a bed. So if I turn this way? Yes, it should be showing this way. That's right. Ah, okay, okay. And if I go this way, it should do the same. Yeah, yeah. And then moving back. And then you can just walk back up and showing back. And then, and then I'm gone. Yes. These are some interesting looking shoes. Yes. Is it safe to say these are the focus of your research right now? Yeah, that's right. Because of the combined together with the chair and beds and then shoes. Because of the, uh, you can divide into three in a, in a day. It are eight hours in sleeping, eight hours in working, eight hours in the moving. So we focusing on this uh, shoes with, with using the same kind of idea with applying with the uh, those fabric electrodes inserted into shoes to see how your movements of your especially for the foot movements are reflecting onto your posture condition. So this is a currently a prototype and sure. you're working on it mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. What do you see for the future of yeah, the issue? I see at the moment we measure the uh, those condition uh, movements foot movements conditions with on offline which means after you uh, put on these shoes and then the measure and then uh, get the, the data and analysis and it tells you what, what's, what's going on later. But uh, we, we now we're developing the system which is the real-time uh, analysis of those kind of measurements because of the uh, limitations of the uh, batteries and also the limitations of the wireless transfer. That's a kind of uh, need to be developed. Of course, at the, at the moment, the wiring system is a little bit <laughs> not good. So we wanted to shrink the size and also the uh, let the uh, batteries uh, live more. Otherwise, it's uh, just only right now is eight hours or something. But in case of the analysis, because we use the same kind of system structures with the uh, chairs and beds, so we can just do the same kind of system analysis. Mm -hmm. That means the system is OK. I can't help but notice that you've got some other little things that you seem to be working yeah. on. Uh, can you introduce us to these as well? Yeah. Uh, especially for the uh, those uh, the terminology of this, as I said, at the foot uh, movements, measurement positions. But uh, in case with the motion movements, like a motion up capture or something, is very popular for the uh, uh, VR or those uh, other systems, VX or other uh, systems. But, now we can transfer this kind of uh, fabric electrode into the uh, analysis of the movements, uh, like the fingers, or either the, uh, the muscles, or either some uh, joints, or either bleed, or either the heartbeats or something. And this uh, graphs and indicates about the, the finger movements in the future, uh, like applying to the manipulation system, people controlling by using those kind of graphs to capture the finger movements to other, like a robotic hand or something like that. Could you see your entire body being sort of measured and day-to-day? -day yeah, especially for, not only for the healthy person, but also the disabled persons. And then uh, if, we, if, we those, if we could uh, help those kind of people to help the movements of your body, which is difficulty of the movements, uh, let's, let's say that the muscle um, tensions or either some kind of other problems. So I think this kind of technology uh, is a kind of help for uh, the people to in amb uh, uh, ambient uh, situations. You, you don't have to have attention to be watched. It's a lot more comfortable that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Someone, <laughs> we don't want to, somebody is watching, someone is hearing. Yeah. That kind of situation, we, we can just escape from that kind of it's quite a, quite a wide yeah. variety of potential applications. Mm -hmm. so it's very exciting. Well, thank you very much, Tony. Thank you for It's been an amazing uh, experience and uh, very interesting technology. Thank, thank you very much. Look what you are. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like I was speaking for two minutes. <laughs>